In my previous video, I showed you how to display an individual array element using the array access operator. In this video, I'll show you how to use ActionScript 3 to load movie clip objects onto the stage. I've already created some images to use in my role playing game and converted those images to movie clips. Now, I'll transfer these movie clips to a new ActionScript 3 project. I'll open the library for my source files and copy all the movie clips, including assets, and paste them into the name section of the library for the new project. Before I can use ActionScript to load the movie clips, I need to modify them. I'll select my wizard and view his properties. Under ActionScript Linkage, I'll check the boxes Export for ActionScript and Export in Frame 1. I'll do this for the rest of my heroes and for the rest of my evildoers. In ActionScript 3, a movie clip is an object, and like any other object, I'll use the constructor method to create a new wizard object. I'll open my Actions panel. The constructor method looks like this. OBJ wizard is the variable name. Wizard is the data type. Equals is the assignment operator. And new wizard indicates I'll be creating a new instance of the wizard movie clip. Now, I need to place this object into a container, such as the stage, or another movie clip. This container will be the parent, and the object will be the child. I'll use the add child method to add the wizard to the stage. Stage is the parent, add child is the method, and obj wizard is the child object to be added to the stage. Since the code is written to a layer on the stage, ActionScript assumes that we mean the stage to be the parent. So this shortcut is perfectly acceptable. If I tested the movie now, the wizard movie clip would be loaded to the stage, but not necessarily where I want him to be. I'll use the movie clip's X and Y properties to position my wizard. I have set the registration point for all of my movie clips at the front and bottom of each character's near foot. This way, all of my characters will be standing on the same plane, regardless of their height. For illustration purposes, I've placed a red plus sign on the stage. This is where I plan to place the front and bottom of my wizard's foot. I'll place the wizard on the stage like this. The wizard's foot will align at X equals 120 pixels and Y equals 250 pixels. I'll test the movie. And now the wizard is standing exactly where I want. In my previous video, I showed you how to create an array of string objects. In this example, I'll show you how to create an array of movie clip objects and how to position each movie clip on the stage using the array access operator. First, I'll add the rest of my heroes using the constructor method. Then, I'll add the rest of my hero children. My array of movie clip objects looks like this. I'm not using quotation marks because each of these elements are objects, not strings. Finally, I'll place each movie clip object on the stage like this. I'll test the movie, and now all my hero movie clips have been loaded onto the stage. In my next video, I'll show you how to combine arrays and how to use arrays to position movie clip objects on the stage. 
To learn more, visit my website at LarryStimson.com.